Hi, I'm Mara Hester. Hi, I'm Christine Hegebron. Hi, uh, my name is Audrey Pinto, and this is Insight at the Ino Arts Mill. So my favorite piece is this series behind me, is the Here There. I consider them all one piece, um, although they can be split up individually, but uh, I prefer them all to be together. I just like the use of the color and the thing that's different about these pieces than my previous pieces are that there's buildings in this one, whereas typically in my other work it's mostly uh, nature and landscape photography. So the basis for all of my work is lies in challenging our traditional views of photography. So that's kind of where the sculptural aspect comes in, because typically we see photographs framed in a 2D form and hung on the wall. And so what I'm doing is taking what you experience in the world as 3D, it's made 2D by the photography, and then I'm making it 3D again by putting the sculptural aspect into it. So I create abstract line art out of fabric and thread. And what inspires me to create this work is the ability of people to cope, their inner strength when they are facing adversity, health struggles, all kinds of challenges. And my story, my art is based in my own experience with depression. But I don't dwell on the darkness or the isolation and the pain, but I want to share the lessons that I've learned. To trust in my ability to heal, in the gift of resilience, and to understand the power of a positive mindset. So I would like to pass that on through my work and encourage other people to take care of their mental health. I've always done art from the time I was young. I spent a lot of time with my grandmother doing needlepoint and needlework and embroidery, uh, crocheting. She even taught me how to tat, which nobody does anymore, but over the years, I just kept going with different art uh, forms that had to do with textiles. And I was very interested um, when I was in college in weaving, and I took a couple of weaving classes. And then, you know, life happens and I had to get a job and that was that. <laughs> I ended up, but I never stopped working with my hands. It seems to be very integral to my happiness and well-being. It's, it's absolutely amazing how many different book forms that you can play with um, and how many different papers you can use. So I just kept taking workshops. I also got interested in cut work, which I'd love to do because of the intricacies involved to that and also how light uh, plays off of the, um, the positive and negative space. So those are, and I just have fun with paper. I love paper. I think it makes it so it's an experience that you'll never experience again, so even if I hang these up again elsewhere, they won't be across from Christine or Audrey's work, so it'll never be experienced the same again. As we look at it, we might see ourselves, or as Mara already pointed out in her interview, you see the surrounding. So the piece becomes part of the surrounding, and the surrounding becomes part of the piece. And I like this complex integration. I love the paper that I make, because that's a meditative. There's something about repetition and using your hands and the mind-hand um, connection that makes you feel calm and centered. And, but that's for my grandmother. <laughs>